Hey y'all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be discussing why I'm moving my personal notes from Notion to Obsidian as a software engineer. So I've been a Notion user for years, recommending it to friends and family for personal notes. I even use it with my wife to help collaborate on different docs on retros and like systems for chores and things like that. And it really helped me organize all of my documents and build a second brain. But I've also considered other apps along the way. I take a ton of notes and while I loved Notion's editing experience and cross-platform capability, I didn't always love its default behavior, organization, or latencies. I decided to try out Obsidian a couple weeks ago and really vibed with the mission, experience, and capabilities. I've now decided to move all my personal notes from Notion to Obsidian, and in this post wanted to give some of the reasons that I decided to make the jump, and first impressions comparing the two note-taking apps, as well as a quick recommendation for which you should use depending on what you're into. So we'll start off with some benefits that Obsidian has over Notion, and the first is that Obsidian is local and lightweight. So Obsidian is local first. It's basically just a wrapper on Markdown docs, which gives you local latency, which is fast, and ease of access. It's all just folders and files on your system. So there's no like weird proprietary stuff anywhere. You can, you can access everything just through the files. And when I thought about what I wanted in a note-taking app, I really just wanted docs, folders, and some lightweight views on them for organization. Notion does all these things, but it also does a ton of other ones and perhaps too many. I think the downfall of mini apps is that they they try to do too many things, which leads to increasing complexity and slower, more expensive services, often decreasing the usability of the main thing they were good at. I think we see this a lot as soon as like companies get VC money or they're trying to get VC money or going public, they expand to do all sorts of stuff that just isn't the main thing. And if it's not the main thing, then it's often taking away from it, whether that's because it costs more to run, so the prices need to increase or it adds additional, you know, compute required to actually show the main page, which makes everything just a little bit slower or maybe now they're competing with, you know, screen space because each one of these features needs to have a way for the user to, to reach it. And if you're not into that one little piece of the app, it just makes it more clunky for you to do the main thing. I think Facebook is a great example of this. It started just as like the sharing, but now there's like all sorts of events and dating and marketplace and all sorts of things. If you look in the hamburger menu, that kind of took away from the main thing. And I'm not saying that notion is bad, but I am saying that I increasingly felt frustrated with using it for the main thing that I wanted, which is just taking and organizing my notes. I found that notes open slowly, often taking seconds to load a note when I'm looking for it. Search was hit or miss. Sometimes it'll find it, but if it's not directly in the title, and especially if it's like an older note, often doesn't get indexed. And I often just lost docs because I was using databases instead of folders for organization. And I personally don't love the way that there's they do foldering. Um, every page is kind of like a sub page of another page and the UI for doing folders isn't as solid as what I would want for a file system. And so I'd frequently just be losing things um, that way. I think there's probably better ways to use databases. Mine are probably too complicated, but that's kind of where I ended up with um, in my Notion setup. And so over the past few weeks, I found the speed and simplicity of Obsidian's editing and organizing experience to be refreshing. It's similar to how I write these blog posts, fast with minimal distractions. I just use Markdown. I just have them in different folders. I move them to a folder and I'm ready to publish it and I submit the code and that's it. Second thing Obsidian has going for it is that it allows you to control your own data. So Obsidian is just a wrapper on Markdown files that live on your system. And this means that you can view them, edit them, sync them however you want, whether it's with Obsidian or another tool. This lower level abstraction gives me confidence that even if Obsidian and its devs were to abandon the project tomorrow, I'd still have all my notes and could reasonably use them with a standard IDE or migrate them to some other platform. And I just can't say the same about Notion. They could have an incident where they wipe all the data or they could go out of business and the data could be inaccessible. And we think that, you know, this, this won't happen, but I think we saw this with Evernote where it didn't quite go out of business, but the pricing's changed, right? And a lot of people decided to leave because of that. And so if you don't have control of your data, you're kind of held hostage on like, how accessible do you want that data? How much time and effort are you willing to put in to migrate that data out? And I will say that for many things, this is a fine trade-off, right? Convenience for a small possibility of unrecoverable data loss. But I've been thinking my notes are a bit more valuable that, than that and worth a bit of extra effort to keep them around long-term, especially if the experience over that long-term is really just as good on both sides and I just get extra you know, longevity and robustness um, with one option versus another. 
Another benefit is that Obsidian is highly customizable. Obsidian really is basically a web view on a Markdown editor. And this makes it highly customizable with relatively little complexity depending on your background. So you can customize appearance with CSS. You can build JavaScript plugins to customize behavior. And this means you can port your favorite IDE themes over to Obsidian. I'm using a heavily customized dark mode version of One Dark Pro that kind of makes it look more like my website. And as a software engineer, I find this customization useful, freeing, and not too intimidating. Although the first time you open one of these kind of CSS things, you're like, ugh, what is everything? So you do have to learn it. I will say that the markup has pretty decent CSS classes, and there are a lot of configurable vars for specific elements if you don't want to change everything. For instance, I'm not going in and changing all the elements. Often I'm just changing um, all of the text elements, their size, the colors, things like that, that I find I need to be different because that's that's how I like things. And the way I think about this is if I'm gonna use a note-taking app long-term, I should be able to make it exactly as I want it, or at least it should be configurable to the point where it doesn't bother me too much. Now that said, this level of customization does have some downsides, particularly for folks who don't wanna mess with CSS, which we'll talk about later. Okay, so now so let's talk about some downsides of Obsidian and where I think Notion wins out. The first is that Notion is just good out of the box while Obsidian requires customization. So Notion is good out of the box. It's got good defaults for colors, editing experience, and it syncs across all of your devices, which is awesome. Obsidian is okay out of the box, but it does take some tweaking to get it to a good place and more to go get to a great place. I had to mess around with several themes before I found one I liked and ended up heavily customizing it to get the colors I wanted. I also installed a few plugins to get the editing experience I wanted, like creases to autofold, some sections, and one that lets me paste rails directly into the markdown just to get an experience that I felt was more modern. And I personally prefer this customization because I'm able to get exactly what I want out of my note-taking app, but if you want something that just works out of the box, Obsidian might not be for you. Because I will say it's default, you know, editing experience really does kind of feel like you're just editing markdown and at that point, like, why not do it in VS Code or something? The next place Notion wins out is that it has better collaboration features. So Obsidian is great because it runs on Markdown files, but it's also just Markdown files. In order to get collaboration features, another layer needs to be added. And I've heard that there are some decent plugins for collaboration, but if I'm being honest, Notion or Google Docs is probably a better bet if you will be collaborating on Docs with other people. You know, they're built in with this. They've got user profiles and um, they've got SSO. The syncing and backends are literally built for these to be collaborative. And so if that is going to be a primary use case for you, it feels like Markdown files just probably aren't aren't the best tool for that experience. The next place Notion wins out is that Obsidian Sync is not perfect. The built-in sync does well, but it's not as fast across devices as Notion is. And this doesn't bother me too much as I feel Obsidian makes up for it in the speed of opening and editing files on devices. But it is something to keep in mind if you'll be editing docs across multiple devices frequently, like maybe you're on your laptop and then you edit it on your desktop and then you're on your phone and you kind of like go back and forth. That editing sync does take tens of seconds for the files to to pull down. And so if you're doing that a lot, it's probably going to get very cumbersome. And I would say that like Notion is much better at that syncing. Same with like Google Docs better at that syncing. But I will say Notion's like editing experience, like how long it takes to load a document up and like actually edit parts of it seems slower in my experience. And I personally, I really only need my daily notes to sync frequently across devices. And all of my other docs are seldom accessed on different devices right after each other. So this works for me. Um, often I'll have like primary docs that I'm working on um, on my desktop and you know I'll have other docs open on my phone just because the workflows are different, but really only the daily notes have I ever noticed like, oh, the sync isn't ready yet and I'll have to wait a few seconds for it to be ready. And so if you want to use something other than Obsidian's official sync, which is the one that I'm using that's like kind of slow, you will need to do some further customization to get it to work. And I've heard that the sync to mobile is maybe not the most advanced version of this. So something to keep in mind, depending on your workflow, if, if the syncing is like a deal breaker for you and how much work you want to put into it to make sure it's working. Okay, finally, would I recommend choosing Obsidian or Notion? So overall, I think Obsidian provides a faster, simpler note-taking experience than Notion did. And this is one of the primary reasons that I chose to move my notes over to it. But that did come at the expense of more complicated and necessary customer customization for me to get it set up the way that I wanted. And not even just the way I wanted, really to get it to set up to a point that I felt like it was usable as a note-taking app for me and my workflows. And so here's my recommendations. If you just want a note app that works, syncs across your devices and requires low maintenance and low configuration, use Notion. It's pretty great at this. 
If you want to collaborate with others on these docs, use Notion or Google Docs or some service that has collaboration built in as a first class citizen. If you want control of your data and high customization of your editor, Obsidian wins out hands down. You can build it, you know, CSS and JS is basically like building your own website for your IDE, right? You can do whatever you want in there. And if you just want an editor to organize your markdown files, which means it's fast and organized in folders, I think Obsidian or even a standard IDE wins out over Notion because Notion just really really can't beat that speed of being local. And I personally think it's probably going to go more the other way where it gets slower. Now I chose Obsidian because I wanted a thin layer on top of my markdown files and folders. I was okay with the upfront customization costs and I didn't care about collaboration. But if you're intimidated by CSS or JavaScript, you want to collaborate with others, or you don't care so much about a couple seconds of load time, Notion may be a better bet. And I would argue for most people, Notion is a better bet because for most people, they're not going to want to do that customization. Next. So if you like this post, and also like how to set up an ergonomic workstation, more productivity, less back, neck, and wrist pain. You might also be interested in my simple daily to-do list as a software engineer, maximize productivity, and minimize waste. And finally, I quit coffee for 90 days. Here's how it affected me as a software engineer. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.